Do you know how many movies Ryan Reynolds has been in? Well, in today's podcast, I will tell you about his life and why he became an actor. Ryan Reynolds is a Canadian actor. He was born on October 23rd, 1976. He's known for being quirky and his quick-witted, smart aleck. He grew up the youngest of four brothers in an Irish Catholic family in Vancouver. He began acting at age 13 after attending an open casting call and landing a lead role in Nickelodeon's teen soap opera Hillside. After returning to Vancouver, he appeared in several TV movies and played a recurring role in the CBC fantasy series The Odyssey, 1993-1994, before graduating from Kitsilano Secondary School in 1994. Ryan started his company, his own improv group, Yellow Snow. He also appeared in TV series such as Lonesome Dove, The Outlaw Years, 1995, The Outer Limits, 1995, in the X-Files, 1996, while working nights as a grocery store clerk to make ends meet. In hope of finding more reliable and steady work, he dropped out of Coatlin Polytechnic University after only a few months and moved out with a friend to Los Angeles when he was 19 years old. After moving to Hollywood, Reynolds played a few supporting roles in TV series and movies. He was offered the role of Xander and Joss Winder's series, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but it turned down because he did not want to play a teenager anymore. Instead, he landed the role of a medical school student Berg in the ABC sitcom Two Guys, a Girl, and a Pizza Plays, 1998-2001. Reynolds took the role of a time traveler who joined forces with his preteen self and later father to save the future, making peace with his past along the way. His thrillers included Buried, 2010, in which he played an American contractor entombed in a coffin in Iraq, Safe House, 2002, 2012, about a CIA agent trying to protect a criminal, played by Denzel Washington, and Six Underground, 2019. Reynolds always lent his voice to the family films The Crude in its sequel, Turbo and Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Exhibiting his skill for self-mockery, he played himself in an episode of Family Guy 2011 and made memorable cameo appearances in Mac Farlane's feature comedies Ted 2012 in A Million Ways to Die in the West. Reynolds' more serious movies were among his least successful the dramas the nine 2007 fireflies in the garden 2008 and chaos theory 2008 were all poorly received both critical and commercially 